Hey everyone, I know what you're all probably thinking. Didn't draw my life videos go out of style like two years ago, if not more? On top of that, Sana, you're a flautist. You are a musician. Why are you trying to draw when you know good and well you can't draw? Well, this isn't about my drawing skills and it isn't about a trend. There's over 7 billion people in this world and a two-year trend is not enough time for everyone's story. You are all used to just seeing my flute covers, but it's time for me to introduce myself so you can know me beyond that and into me as an individual, but more importantly, as an artist. And that is what this Draw My Life is about, my musical career thus far. There are millions of creative individuals in this world full of talent, but every artistic story is unlike any other. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Sana Coulter. My name in Spanish means health or healing. Which I think of music as something that is healing, very therapeutic, a way for me to express myself and my creative thinking. And to be honest, when I'm expressing myself, I could probably express myself better through a piece of music than I could in words any day. I'm from Harlem, New York, so here, which to me is where I get most of my inspiration from. From the streets to the murals to the subway performers to endless arts on every street corner. And if you follow me on the gram, you can see this is where I currently live, but I did go to school in New Jersey. When I was a baby, my nickname was Crybaby Coulter because ever since I came out the womb, girl, I was crying. But the one thing that would make me stop is if my mom would blast classical music. And no, not that light background stuff you hear in the elevator or while you're sitting at a fancy dinner. I'm talking blast, like full-on blast. It would stop me from crying and I would just listen. My mom would encourage this musical interest of mine by buying me a mini keyboard and a trumpet. With no musical experience, I was able to make a sound out of the instrument. Maybe it was just my school, but you know how in elementary school, there was a paper for every event? I mean, I would come home after school with a million unnecessary papers to the point that my mom had to say, Sana, do not bring home any papers that do not need to come home. But there was one paper in particular I was so excited to bring home, and that was the slip to join the fourth grade band. All you had to do was put your name and what instrument you would like to play. And to be honest, picking my instrument was easy for me. No hesitations, I wanted to play the flute because it just looked mad cool. Kids were so excited to join this because to be honest, you could pick what time you want to leave class for a musical lesson and I'ma put air quotes around that one. Kids would get up and leave saying they had a music lesson knowing good and well they had no type of instrument and wasn't even in the band, but okay. That first week we were assigned our rental instruments which was a huge responsibility. I remember my first lesson and I was frustrated as ever because I could not play a note. It was straight air. I was getting all tight, so I went home and tried blowing on that head joint for hours. My mom finally stepped in and helped me out, probably because she was tired of my hot breath all over the living room. Finally, thanks my mama because you a real one, I made my first sound. You can all guess what happened after this and if you know me personally, you really know what happened after this. I was all the way gassed up. I knew how to finger the notes and now I could blow? What? I wouldn't practice because I was cocky as the day is long and would fake in my lesson with my private teacher like I had been practicing all week. So one day, I left my flute at home and I was supposed to have a lesson. So my mom picked up my flute from home and came to the school's main office so I could pick it up. Soon as I stepped my foot in that office, I peeped my mom talking to my lesson teacher, and he was praising me to the gods, telling my mom how good I sound, how much improvement I had made since the first week. So I was gassed up once again, and joined the conversation, grabbed my flute, and shortly after, I had to get back to class. But then soon as I tried to creep out of that office, I heard him say, yeah, but she seems like she's not practicing at home. I heard my mom say, oh, is that so? And you know when your mama hits you with that line, you better stop before a scene is made before you get home. After my teacher explained I should be practicing every day and filling out a practice log, my mom replied with, oh, don't you worry, she'll be practicing. And by the time she has another lesson, she'll be playing like Bobby Humphrey. If you're unaware, Bobby Humphrey is a famous African-American jazz flautist. So the point is, I'll be practicing so much by the time I come back, I'll be playing like a whole professional. Around the age of eight, my mom and I started going to church, and I was immediately mesmerized by the varied sounds of the music in the church we went to, which we still attend to this day. 
And a quick note here, my church is unlike any other, in my opinion. I've been to churches where they do the hymns from the book and the singing that's very traditional. My church is very non-traditional. We play that Stevie Wonder. We be playing Kirk. I mean, we be getting lit at church. You'd be surprised. So this is where my interest in piano began. I knew a bunch of kids that already played piano, but I wanted to get into it. And my family could not afford for me to get piano lessons at the time. So after church service was over, I would sit on that piano bench for hours and beg anybody that knew anything from the congregation to teach me something, even a note. Finally, one of my mom's friend's sons taught me how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. I know, such a simple start, but that jump-started my piano career. So thank you, Basel. I went back to school, and my music teacher offered to give me piano lessons for a low price shortly after, and this was such a blessing to me. Any transition into a new grade is rough, but elementary to middle school was quite a change. I immediately joined the 5th and 6th grade band and took private lessons, and my teachers moved me into the 7th and 8th grade band after noticing how dedicated I was to the instrument and how much talent I had. And I was only a 5th grader. Of course this came with bragging rights, but some other flute players made fun of me for being such a band nerd. They called me a kiss-up, teacher's pet, show-off, you name it, for being good and doing something that I love, which is play music. This really brought me down, and I started practicing less, and I would hide playing my flute from everyone. But God works in mysterious ways, but also amazing ways. I learned to never let anybody stand in the way of my success. I was blessed with an amazing band teacher for four years that taught me this valuable lesson. He made us wear the craziest tie-dye shirts, but you know what? He always saw a successful musical future for me. He always made me audition for state and county bands that I never got in, but he knew the audition experience would someday benefit me. This was helpful for me as I went to an audition for Juilliard's Music Advancement Program. I was so nervous because, I mean, this is Juilliard. I remember pacing around the room, walking in, introducing myself, and eventually thinking of all the musical experience I've had up until that point. And what did I do? Played my heart out. And guess what? Your girl got into the program. Starting my freshman year of high school, I would be attending Juilliard's MAP program on Saturdays. As I transitioned into high school, I involved myself in concert band and marching band, which was mandatory. And there's a reason it was mandatory. Because you know good and well nobody wants to play outside for a team that was not winning at the time in snow because eventually in November it was going to snow. On top of that, we didn't even move around. Some of those fancy marching bands, you know how they do a little two-step across the field? Yeah, we just stood there. (laughs) My junior year of high school, I decided to graduate early and a lot of factors were considered when making this decision, but the main reason was because I wanted to move my musical career beyond the high school level. I forcefully wanted to challenge myself, and I'm a very determined person. This meant a heavy course load because I took regular high school classes to finish off junior year, then all the senior year requirements, online class requirements, and Juilliard, but it was worth it. For senior service, which is basically community service, your senior year of high school and your last semester, and the benefits of that is basically you don't have to go to school that last month and you don't have to take finals. So many lessons were learned during that time period. I got to work at my old middle school's music department, which was beneficial for me in the entirety of things musically that I wanted to do. And out of those many lessons, here are my top two. Kids these days got more attitude towards their elders than I ever did. I swear these kids were out of control, but they knew I was not the one, so we worked it out. After that month, we all had respect for each other. And two, which was so important, I could spend hours talking about, you know, how these kids wanted to try my life. But seeing their enthusiasm towards creativity and expressing themselves was such an inspiring experience. And if anyone has the chance just to see kids in their element doing what kids want to do, I swear it's the most amazing thing you could ever see. Finally, fast forward to now. Your girl is doing big things and planning on doing even bigger things. I'm a music performance and music education double major at Rutgers University with a concentration in flute. But I've also been trained in piano. 
I currently perform regularly at my church every Sunday. Yes, the same lit church that first inspired me to play piano. To give back to the spiritual community that helped launch and continuously supports my musical career. And I perform in my school's ensembles, which are requirements for my major. I always jump at any given opportunity to expand my repertoire and experience. I started this YouTube to share my musicianship with you all and to inspire youth interested in music. Thank you so much for taking this moment to watch this video. Have a great day. I like, I like, I like, I like.